morning ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel i am luke thank you very much for watching if you haven't watched one of my videos before then welcome to the channel and obviously all my long time subscribers welcome back hopefully you've had a fantastic week today is friday so foot down friday and what a day we got planned today we've only got the two runs scheduled uh, our first run is in Thiel, which is where we're going to right now we're actually on the m4 as I speak, we're actually about to come off in a, in a bit, in like a quarter of a mile, three quarters of a mile, sorry. Yeah, so we've got Thiel, build base we're going to, build base in Thiel. And then we've got to go back down to Southampton again, get reloaded to do another build base in Newbury. So both sites I've been to before, both sites I've vlogged um, before as well. So feel free to turn off now. <laughs> um, I'm not going to be filming on site anyway, I'm not allowed, so it's going to be literally just me talking on the motorway and on the A road and hopefully a little bit of extra footage as well, not sure yet. Got to find something to film. <laughs> but yeah, so um, hopefully you've all had a great week. Like I said, it's Friday today, so foot down Friday, we're coming off here. Yesterday, I parked up and so the, the, the weirdest thing happened like oh the weirdest thing happened man I'll, I'll explain in a sec let me just get off this motorway so i parked up i um parked up under itching bridge as i sometimes do and um there were there was a truck already in there so i parked next to the truck because that's, there's pretty much nowhere else to park so i parked next to matey boy and um he, i could see he was watching tv he had his tv up on the dash so he was obviously parked up for the night do you know what i mean and um, yeah, so I, I parked up next to him. Now I got up on the bed and I started sweeping up all the aggregate to put it all into one pile, because obviously it, it goes across the whole bed. So I put it into a, to a pile at the front of the, of the trailer. So then when I got loaded, I can sweep it all off. And um, I got back in the cab, turned the engine on to build the air pressure up where it had gone down a little bit. And um, after, you know, maybe three minutes, I turned the engine off. And then five minutes later, he turned his engine on and started driving forward. I was like, oh, maybe he's on a brake. Maybe he's on his brake. I don't know. <laughs> he, he sort of drove forward and then reversed back. So rather than being parallel to each other, we were like an owl, if that makes sense. It's like he got away from me, basically. And it's quite weird. And by, by this point, another driver had turned up. And he, he looked at me and he sort of shrugged his shoulders as if like, what's he doing? I looked at him, I went, <laughs> like just sniffing my armpit, like, and um, yeah, don't know why he moved, but I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I have no, absolutely no idea why he moved. When I sweep, sweeped up on the trailer, maybe he thought, I don't know, I was gonna get his truck messy, I don't know, no idea. But it's a bit, a bit weird that was, so anyway, that happened. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. By the way, in my last video, you probably see it now, there's a Lidl bag there. And people are asking if I'm sponsored by Lidl. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by Lidl. But if anyone from Lidl is watching, you know, CEO, CEO yeah, CEO, feel free to contact me. <laughs> my girlfriend does, uh, does our weekly shopping at Lidl or Audi, one of them. They're, they're the same thing, aren't they, as far as I'm concerned. Same company. They look the same. They shouldn't have a company with the same logo, pretty much. Is it the same logo? I think one's more orange, isn't it? Audi more orange? I don't know. No idea. Anyway, we are coming up to the Thiel branch now. I've been to this branch, I, I think maybe two or three times. So, not many, but I do roughly know the, the basics. They got a uh, telehandler forklift, which means they can unload me from one side. So that's handy, because I've only got to do half half the panels but I think the last time I come here the, fork, the telehander forklift was broken so that's use a normal forklift which meant I had to turn around in the end so but we're we'll see it's also one of those places where I've when I've turned up I'm the only truck there all the time I've gone straight in and got unloaded straight away so that's good but while I've been there other trucks have turned up so there is the chance that obviously when I turn up in a second there's going to be someone else there we'll soon find out also, this place is known for me for being um, a place where I stood in what I think was human feces, which is rather disgusting, I know. So I do apologise if you're eating your breakfast or your dinner. I got out of the cab and walked on 
walked on a bit of grass in front of the cab to get the stick out and yeah, I accidentally stood on it. It was pretty disgusting. Let's just say that. That makes me want to puke now and just think about it. I've got terrible gag reflexes. I, My daughter was sick uh, a few weeks ago in her bed. We were putting her to bed, me and my girlfriend were putting her to bed. And she just, she was sick for no reason. And um, I tried helping, and just the thought, just the, the seeing it and the smell of it, and it, I, nearly, I nearly went myself, I had to run away. I literally had to run away to the bathroom. But um, in the end, she cleaned up the sick, my girlfriend that is, and then I made a new bed. Right, let's go over here. There is a weight limit up ahead, we can't actually go straight on. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear. We have to turn left where those people are, by that blue sign. Arrowhead Road. Right. Ice. Yeah, slow down, mate, because I am on your side of the road. Good boy. Thank you. Um, he's going to have to come down because I've got nowhere to go. There's a, there's a, there is a gap in between the uh, green van and the Range Rover. Oh, you're welcome, mate. Thank you. I didn't even put his hand up. Yeah, there's a gap here that I might have been able to get in, but sod it. What an... Oh, I hate when people don't say thanks. I consider myself to be a very considerate driver. I always say thank you to people. When I said this in my last video. You sometimes can't see it. But he never said thanks. West Coast. Thank you very much. Right. We are round the corner. Come on. He thought he was doing well, but I need to go here so my trailer don't curb. And if he was still here, then he would have been just in the way. Lake here. Um, yeah, I've come here, like I said, a few times. I was hoping to get loaded last night to come here, and I was going to come down here and stay down here. But um, I, didn't, I didn't get back and get loaded in time. Looks like we're the only truck here. Yeah, hazards on. We're ready. they got their own trucks in there, though, that they probably got to get unloaded first. But yeah, we just park up here. And the grass right in front of us is the grass I'm talking about where I stood in mess. Right. That's bloody cold out there. It's one degree, apparently. So I am going to need my jacket. Ugh. For those of you who don't drive lorries, when it's cold outside, you don't know how cold it is outside because obviously you're regulated by a heater inside. So what did I have at? 20, it's 24 degrees in here. It's nice and toasty. As soon as I open that door, it's going to be like... Um, yeah, so let's go and get unloaded. Oh, and uh, see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are tits. We are unloaded and ready to go back to down to Southampton. Just going to put it in the old sat nav where we're going. Obviously, I know how to get there, but just like to know how long it's going to be, and also it tells me if there's any traffic. So that's why I'm doing it. Southampton Drive, go. Right, we've got to spin round now on this on the spot, pretty much. We've not got a lot of space. There's a lorry coming out, so I'll wait for him. Go on, off you go. Move, 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 move. Thank you. There's another car there, where are you going? You're going in to build base, that's good. Oh, brakes are a bit sensitive now, I'm unloaded. Go round, go round, go round. Backward, backward, backwards. Excellent, angle it again, ready to go left, 
Let's go, go, go. Right, better turn the old hazard lights off. Right, so, it's an hour and a half to get back down to Southampton. Quarter past 10 is the ETA there. Which means by the time I get there, I would have done three hours driving. I've got to work out now, like, when to have a break. Because obviously, it's up to me when I have a break. But um, I don't know whether to have an early one or not. Will I have enough time? So say I had a break in half an hour's time, it's an hour then to get down to Southampton. And then, it would be less than three hours drive back to the yard. So I've only got to do the trip to Newbury and then back to the yard from there. So in theory, if I do, if I do half an hour driving, wait till I do, wait, wait till I get to two hours of driving now, then have a break, I should in theory only have four hours drive time left to do. Which means I could, if I really wanted to, have an early break. Now just come down mate, I ain't got enough room, just come down. Thank you very much for offering me the chance to get out, but just, just, just come, just come, just come. All of you, just come. Right, he's flashing me down there. Right. Yeah, so I'm thinking about stopping in the services on the way back down to Southampton. There's quite a few I could stop at. I could stop at Cheveley on the M4, on the, which is just before the A34. And then there's two services on the A34 on the way down to Southampton. I can't go into UCO, thank you very much. So I've got three services to choose from. I can go to anyone I want. It's just making sure I've got enough drive time in the afternoon, that's all, because obviously I'm going to do four and a half hours driving or six hours working from when I have this next break. I started work this morning at six o'clock and it's nearly nine o'clock now. So I can only do three more hours worth of working before I have to have a break. Or, yeah, it's, it's confusing. I'm going to answer this in one of my upcoming videos about driver regulations. I mean, those of you who do drive for a living, you, you know it all already. But those of you who don't drive for a living or have just recently got their license, it is literally a minefield. There's so much you need to know. And I'm not an expert, believe me. I'm sure I make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. No one's perfect. I've said this before. I ate a sign the other day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I ain't perfect. And someone said, if you want to see a perfect driver, go see Luke Vernon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Go around here. So we've got to do a 180 on the roundabout, come back down again, onto the M4, go through the 50 mile an hour roadworks up to um, Newbury, and then go down on the A34. I'm not going to stop at Cheveley. That's, that's just too soon, I think. It'll either be one of the two services on the A34 I'd stop at, I think, if I stop. I don't have to, I can go all the way down if I really want to, to Southampton. I then, oh, that's an idea. Three hours. If I really wanted to, I can go all the way down to Southampton, get loaded, and then come up and have a break. I need to get a break in at some point, it's just whenever I want it, really. That's, that's the thing. Do I have one early and work a long afternoon? Or do I have one later and have a short afternoon? Oh, there's been an accident there. I better let him through in there. Yeah, I can't wait. I'll let him through. What have they done there then? They had a bump and grind. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Right, I have decided I'm going to stop at Cheveley Services on the way down to A34. So... M3 Southampton also services are here yeah I think I'm gonna stop here and I think I'm gonna have an hour break rather than 45 minutes just to give me an extra 15 minutes working time later on in the day and I think I will be all right by the time I park up it'd be quarter past nine if I leave at 10 o'clock reset the driving time it's an hour away to Southampton from here so that'd be an hour on the clock and then it'd be an hour and a half back to Newbury, so that'd be two and a half hours on the clock, and then an hour home from there. So that'd be three hours on, three and a half hours on the clock. So I've got plenty of driving time, if I have a 45. It's just working time, it means I need to be finished by four o'clock, that's all. And I think I probably will be. So I've got to find somewhere to park now. 
loads of places that I could park. I do this at car parks, I just, I go around for ages just trying to find somewhere to park. My girlfriend's like, Luke, just park. <laughs> I'm going to park here so I can just roll straight back out. And I really fancy a Greg's. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get a Greg's for breakfast. Have a 45 minutes. Watch some TV on Amazon or something. I'm watching Lufa at the moment. Uh, not Lufa, Lucifer on Series 3. It's a really good programme. Yeah, and then we're just being parked here. I've just got to go straight out past that green truck. So yeah, I'm going to stop here for 45 minutes. Slash an hour. Yeah, an hour I'm going to have. It's quarter past ten I'm leaving, so I can work to quarter past four after my break. Right. See you in a bit. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. In the end, I had uh, 45 instead of an hour because I couldn't be bothered to wait any longer. So we left about 10 o'clock. It's now 11 o'clock. We're just around the corner for where we need to be. Ugh. Yeah, so because I, um, I'm operating at 10 o'clock, I can now work for six hours. Uh, so four o'clock, so as long as I'm parked up by four, I won't need another break. Unless I do more than four and a half hours driving, but I don't think I will. Of course, I could get another 15 minute break in and that'll reset it again, I think. But I don't need to worry about it. I definitely don't need to worry about it. I've only I've got an hour, I'm, I've got an hour on the clock. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing three hours maximum from now. So I've not got to worry about driving time. I just got to make sure I finish before four. That's all. We'll park up before four. Get back to the yard. That bus is indicating a left. I need to go left as well. No, he's, he's indicating right now. Oh well, I'm going left. So we we'll just go down here. Yeah, we should have a run now to Newbury. The weather's come out. Oh, it's nice and sunny now. Still cold out, it's five degrees outside. So it's still pretty chilly. It's not ideal. But never mind. Anyway, let's go get loaded and um, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are on our way to Newbury for our second and final run of the afternoon slash day slash evening slash whatever you want slash week if you really wanted to say last run and then we're going home it's been one of those days today where everything was going right this morning like we were on target we had a break everything was going well and then i got down to southampton everything just slowed down like it's partly my fault because when i turned up um it was clear for me to go around and get loaded but i decided i was going to go visit the little boys room do you know what i mean time I'd come out um, the lorry behind me had already overtaken me and got in so um, I mean I was only gone five minutes but for some reason he overtook me so from where I was sitting I could see that lorry there facing me so obviously you got to go down and do a 180 well, I say obviously like you know I, anyway he was facing me where, he, where, he's, where he's getting loaded so I then go on down and then as I get down there I realized there's another truck behind him so not one truck but two trucks overtook me while I was having you know cheeky little boys room and yeah so I, I couldn't go anywhere so I had to go out of the place and come back in again and wait for about 20 minutes just before them to be loaded and then sort of another 20 minutes to be loaded myself so a bit annoying that was a bit of a delay never mind so yeah two two trucks two trucks overtook me 
while I visited the little boys room and I was only gone five minutes. Never mind. It annoyed me a little bit but happens, doesn't it? And then <laughs> I go grab the paperwork and apparently Moodbury, where I'm going now, they're crying for the delivery. That was the quote I got. Crying for the delivery. They wanted it earlier, they wanted it the first thing in the morning. Well, why didn't you send me first thing then? Like but never mind. Never mind! That's the uh, transport office for you. We are 16 miles away. We're about half an hour away until we get there. And hopefully, if they're crying for it, they're going to get it off nice and quick. That's the plan. Sometimes, they even open the bags themselves, so I haven't got to do it. I'm kind of hoping they do that today, because if they do, it gives me a chance to clean in here a little bit. Use some pink, spray the dash, get less, something less to do then when I get back to the yard because it does need a clean inside and outside it could do with a clean. Not too bad, but it could do with a wipe over at least. And then it could do with a scrub on the top using the brush. I hadn't washed it, didn't I, Wednesday, so it's not too bad from then. Like I said, just, just a quick wipe over with some uh, embellish would probably bring it back out again. Embellish, by the way, smells lush from Crane. I love it. While we're on the case with regards to sponsors, don't forget this video is sponsored by Trailer Train UK. Um, you've probably heard the advert by now, so just check them out and get a discount if you uh, if you check them out and use my name. Someone messaged me on my video Thursday saying I obviously don't earn enough if all I've got to do is plug, plug, plug. And I assure you I earn enough. I assure you on that. I do this job not because I want the money, but because I enjoy the job. And the money is good, I'm not going to lie. But I have sponsors, I need to keep the sponsors happy, you know what I mean? Like, if they want me to plug them, then so be it. But I'm, I'm not... <laughs> what, what I just said about Trailer Training UK, that was out of my own back. I ain't got to do that. I generally think it's a good deal if you go with them, so... I wouldn't, I wouldn't be signed up with them if I didn't think it was good. Same with Chrome. I use the product. I wouldn't sign up with them if I didn't think it was good. Anyway, let's get get moving on. Don't want to talk about that anymore. Sponsors are sponsors. We are 27 minutes away now, so let's crack on and uh, hopefully we'll be there in 27 minutes. Right, we've just turned up, so uh, we're just parked in where we need to be parked. Uh, I've got to get out now, drop the sides down, and then we can get offloaded. And then when we've done that, we can make our way back home. Happy days. So see you when we tipped. Right, we're just reversing out of the yard now. I've got my glasses on just so I can see a bit clearer. They do help. I think what we're doing is going straight back into the garage and then turning right rather than reversing on the way all the way onto the road. This guy don't like reversing you onto the road, which is fair enough, it's, it's harder to reverse onto the road anyway. But it's just whether there's space to reverse back into on this garage, that's all. I can see a car there which is potentially in the way. Clear on the left. Side, all right. Bye, mate. Just got to 
watch this DBT van now. Excellent, we're clear. Right. I'm not sure how much of that you saw because obviously I'm not allowed to film in the yard. Clear right. Clear left. And let's go. Right, so we are now heading home, officially heading home now. Uh, what's going on here then? There's a van park there. Uh, current ETA home is quarter to three, which ain't too bad. Just get around this corner. This corner is a bit tight with a trailer on, so you've got to take it quite wide just to get round. Cool, right, yeah, so now we're on our way. Heading back to Swindon. It's just been one of those days today where like, I don't know, it was really weird. I just don't feel, I don't feel happy, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, I like the job, don't get me wrong, it's just, I don't know how to word it, I just feel like absent-minded. I mean like I just for the last maybe two or three hours I just felt like I want to park up and just relax get on with the weekend do you know what I mean yeah <laughs> I haven't really felt like vlogging to be honest with you but I am because I like vlogging so I'm hoping it puts me in a good mood so yeah let's head back to the yard and then depending on how I feel um, we'll determine as to whether or not I end the vlog or whether I do a bit more vlogging while I'm there while cleaning, for example, because I still need to clean the interior of this cab up. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Oh, something that happened the other day, actually, right here. I'm, I was doing what I'm doing now, taking up both lanes. And, and I wanted to go in the left lane when I get over there, but I was still taking up both lanes because my trailer would will cross over the right-hand side. And um, as I did that, there was a 4x4 four, four four which went up on the kerb just to try and get around me. And... Um, Inevitably, my trailer cut him up. That's the reason why I took up both lanes. And he beeps me and he was calling me all sorts of like words under the sun. And I was like, you're an idiot, mate. That's why I took up both lanes. <laughs> because my trailer was gonna cut into lane two. But some people just don't understand. They just, they really don't. Anyway, moan over. <laughs> right, let's crack on. See you in a bit. Right, we're just around the corner now from our yard. Let's turn right down here. Those of you who've been a long time uh, subscriber to my channel will probably recognise this junction from when I was on the tippers. So I'd always be going in and out of quick lane and through this junction. I would have thought that Ellison's bus would have waited a little bit longer before coming down. As soon as he knows the road narrows. Never mind. These Ellison's uh, coaches, they're actually based in the same village I live in. Hashtag village life. For those of you who want to know where I live, I'm not going to tell you the exact village where I live, but I live in between Sirencester and Swindon, near South Cerny. And it is technically within the boundaries of Cotswold Water Park. There's literally lakes all around me where I live. It's nice, it's lush in the summer. Just lakes everywhere. And of course it means we get a lot of wildlife as well, like lots of ducks, for example. In our village, we get ducks that just decide they want to cross the road. They don't care about traffic, they don't fly away as soon as cars come around, they stay there on the road. <laughs> You've literally got to wait for the ducks to cross. And I'm not talking like five or six, I'm talking 10 or 12, do you know what I mean? Like a substantial amount. Yeah, they fly around the village, they walk around the village, like they own the village, they do. They're the, they're the only thing in the village that we get nuisance-wise. We don't get chavvy teenagers selling drugs. We get ducks crossing the road without a care for the, for the world. <laughs> anyway, 
I'm gonna pop to the yard and I'll see you in a bit. I expect I'm either gonna clean clean the truck or I might even do some POV driving cam on the way home. I don't know yet, we'll see. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we are in the yard. It turns out there's no fuel, so I gotta come in over the weekend to uh, fill up with fuel. Um, well, it's either come in on a weekend and do it or, or start even earlier on a Monday. <laughs> The problem is sometimes when you start early on a Monday, like I do, you can't get to the fuel because people block you in or they block the, the only way in rather. So sometimes you have to unhitch your trailer just to get round to fill it with fuel, then come back and hitch back up again. And sometimes it's just easier to do it on a Sunday, do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, we're not filling up with fuel. What we are going to do is take home everything I need to take home. That can all stay in there. Because obviously we're now done for the day. So that bag, that bag. Taco is out. We are, I believe, we're good to go. Get out, mate. He's our little beauty. Little beauty of a car here. Honda Civic Type S. Oh, yeah. This is my baby. Let's get it started up. Ooh. Yeah. Exhaust. Exhaust. I do like my Honda Civic. Right, let's get you set up. Ugh. So yeah, that was today. Today's now finished, over and done with. Towards the end of the shift, I was just kind of like, come on, let's just finish, do you know what I mean? Let's open the old panoramic sunroof. Giggity! Get a bit of air in. Giggity, giggity. I think the dash cam's gonna be right up there, should do. Right, let's get out of here. It is nice getting out of a lorry and getting into a vehicle which can do a lot more faster speed. Woo! So yeah, today's now finished. Shift is over. It's now the weekend. Like I said, there's no fuel, so I'm gonna have to come in over the weekend to fill up the fuel and wash the truck or do it first thing in the morning on Monday. And by first thing in the morning, I mean sort of four o'clock in the morning. So you can understand why I'd come in on a Sunday sometimes to do it. If I can't do it on a Friday. Never mind. Let's go, 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 go. Giggity! Woo! I do not endorse speed. Drive to the road conditions and to speed limits. And on that note, <laughs> drive safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. So we had our break.